Hey friends, I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Central United Methodist Church right here in Waterford, Michigan. And we are concluding this week of talking about inclusivity in the church. I want to read the passage uh, from Ephesians. It's uh, chapter 3, uh, 14 to 21. It's the other passage that we haven't been dealing with uh, as much this week. Uh, but I want to uh, share with you uh, this, uh, this passage. For this reason, I bow my knees, uh, I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth takes its name. I pray that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant that you may be strengthened in your inner being with the power through the Holy Spirit, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith as you are being rooted and grounded in love. I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who by the power at work within us is able to accomplish abundantly far more than all we can ask or imagine, to him be the glory in the church and in Jesus Christ to all generations forever and ever. Uh, Man. <laughs> Throughout our scriptures, there's these little snippets of, uh, we call them doxologies. They are blessings. They are moments of, of uh, the author just kind of almost taking a little break from whatever uh, he is writing or she is writing in the scriptures and offers uh, just a moment of joy and adoration for our God. And verse 20 and 21 of this scripture offers that, that joy and adoration. It says, now to him who by the power of work within us is able to accomplish abundantly far more than all we can ask or imagine. To him be glory to the, to the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. And that uh, was a, a little um, doxology that Paul offered as he is speaking about uh, what it means uh, to God to reconcile the world onto God's self. Uh, so I began, I, I ended the message this past, I began with the message with talking about exclusion. I ended the message with how we look at uh, 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 this world through the eyes of Jesus. And Jesus in the other scripture for, for today, for this, uh, for this past Sunday was John 10, 7 to 16, which Jesus says he's the good shepherd. He cares for his sheep. His sheep know him, uh, you know, and recognize his voice and that he has sheep of another fold that is going to be welcomed in. So it's not up to us who gets included in the church. Ours is just the love and care for everyone that God sends to us. And when it comes to frequency, uh, about uh, frequency, we've talked about this this past week, frequency of different biblical themes the, the, the idea, the, the, what we call the slam verses, actually, that slam same gender sexual relationships, there's seven of them in the scriptures, just seven. Um, but, but we also, I think we ought to look at who says what and how many times does Jesus mention uh, same sex behavior in the scriptures? Zero, goose egg. Jesus never spoke about this in the scriptures. Now, I've had folks say to me, well, Jack, you know, but Jesus is part of the eternal Christ of God and God inspired all the other scriptures. I said, but it's still only seven. <laughs> and why are we paying attention to seven verses when we have a, a plethora of scripture, many scriptures, and, and, and just solid thematic uh, threads through our scriptures of, of, of being inclusive, of caring for people, for loving uh, those who are different from us. My gosh, what do we need to be the evidence uh, of, of, of acting as a, the, a loving God would want us to act in the world today? So I want you to think about that. Uh, as we uh, conclude this week, I want you to uh, know that uh, all people are uh, welcomed here at uh, Waterford Central Church. We are um, as I say to people sometimes, I think you're going to come to your church. And I always say, hey, we're open for business. We are doing the Lord's work here in Waterford, Michigan, and we have our eye on the whole world. So with that, I want to welcome you once again to come and worship with us this next Sunday. Worship with us uh, 
at 1030, either uh, online at Waterford, excuse me, live.waterfordcumc.org, or come join us in our beautiful sanctuary. We would be so glad to welcome you and to say, hey, this is a place where you will be loved and cared for because God loves you. And, uh, and there's nothing we can do about that. <laughs> and we love you too. <laughs> Let's pray. Gracious God, we do thank you for this week of contemplating what it means to be a, a church that is identified by its inclusiveness rather than its exclusivity. And we ask a blessing upon our church as we seek to live out that mandate to be inclusive, that, that, that theme of being a people who embraces the diversity uh, of what it means to be a follower of Jesus Christ. We ask that your blessing be in the name of Christ our Lord, and we ask it through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, friends, God bless you, and have a great weekend.